How y'all doing? In this training, we're going to go over how the whole enchilada pitch generally looks and how it sounds. Now, by this point in the training, you've probably listened to the needs assessment type call. You've heard a little bit about what the pitch sounds like. In this, this training and the one right after it, I'm going to help you craft that pitch so that your offer is, is in there the right way. So let me tell you a little bit about what the whole enchilada pitch generally looks like. It's typically five to 10K up front to cover the first three months and 1500 per month thereafter. Um, obviously, that's kind of a starting point and you can charge more than that depending on the industry. And there are some industries where it's very challenging to charge this much up front. So choose your industry well, but know that this general pricing structure should work for the majority of people in the program. Um, and we're going to give you some more help with refining exactly what you're charging as well. That's just a starting point. What does the whole enchilada offer include? Well, it includes DR, lead gen with appointment setting, and the SWAS hooks or the SWAS tools. DR means reactivating someone's old leads and former customers. Um, it also means reactivating current customers. Now, some people here will say, oh, well, you know, I, I can't reactivate my current customers because they're not going to buy again. It's a one-time offer. Well, that's not quite true because you can reactivate current customers to get reviews and referrals, even if you can't reactivate current customers, uh, I'm sorry, current or previous customers to, to buy again, even if it's just a one-time offer. So yeah, I mean, plan A is someone's got a database that they can wake those prospects up. They've got former customers that they can upsell or get them to buy again. And they've got current customers that they can upsell or get referrals from. But in some cases, people only have that one time offer and someone's not going to buy again. Think of like, you know, a divorce attorney. Once that customer has completed their divorce, they're probably not a candidate for, for that lawyer to work with them again, at least, you know, maybe not for a while, hopefully not ever again. Right. And so they're like, well, I can't get, I can't get them to buy again. They've already bought the thing. All right. But you still can get referrals. So you still can use DR in that industry. And then um, DR, I include new customer drips in, in DR because it's sort of an extension of, G, of DR. This is like when someone buys the product and then seven days later or so, depending on you know the industry, um, they'll get a message that says, hey, how did you like fill in the blank? Would you consider it a five out of five or not? And people will say, yeah, it was a five out of five. And then it's like, okay, great. Well, we would love to have a review from you if, uh, you know, and then you, and then you like include the link, you know, we'd love to have a review from you here on Google maps. Once you do that, let us know here so that we can say thank you. Then when they do, then you give them some kind of kickback or some kind of bonus or some kind of reward. Notice you cannot say we'll give you, um, 50% off of your next month. If you give us a review or, We'll give you, um, you know, a $50 Target gift card if you give us a review. You have to say, give us, if you give us a, we would love a review from you. Um, if you do that, let us know here so we can say thank you. Then on the other side, you can give them whatever bonus or reward, but you can't bribe people on the front end if you want to stay out of trouble with Senior Google. So that's how that works. Um, and then obviously if someone says, no, it's not quite a five out of five, it's, you know, and then you would say, okay, well, what would make this a five out of five, right? That person, you don't ask them for review. They're like, you're like, Hey, uh, you know, how has, how things been with your experience here at business name? Is it a five out of five or no? And they're like, no, it's not a five out of five. And then you say, okay, well, what would make your experience a five out of five? And then obviously you can share that feedback with the owner. So that's what DR looks like. Um, lead generation, of course, includes generating new leads and following up those leads to produce a booked appointment. SWAS tools um, or the SWAS hooks are things like a conversion optimized website, call to action buttons, chat bots, um, using your contact us form so that you can manage the follow up of all of those organic opportunities on the client's website. Um, integrating with their Facebook messages on their business page so that while you're running ads, if people message into the page, you can handle those message messages for them. And then um, you can link in with their Google My Business 
So that way you can handle their Google messages for them. And if you're connected with their Google My Business, you can also reply to reviews for them as well to help their, uh, their, their ranking go up. All right. So that's generally what's included in the whole enchilada pitch. Most of those things. Most people will include most of those things. Now, it might be a little bit different for you, but in general, that, that's, that's about what most people should include. Now, there's two different ways to pitch it. Um, keep in mind, by the way, I'm going to help you. The, the team and uh, the coaches in the program, sales coaches and I are going to help you with reviewing your offer to make sure that you're including the right things for your industry and that you're pricing it well. Um, so this is just kind of like a, a baseline starting point. Now, here's how it sounds. There are two different ways to pitch this, option one and option two. Option one is the easiest, and this is where you should start um, if you don't have a good closing ratio or if you're new to this. Now, once you've closed this offer using the option one pitch and you've made you know, at least 30 sales, 30 plus, um, you can use this one to increase your closing ratio. But I don't recommend starting with this one unless you're already a very seasoned salesperson um, because this is good for increasing a close ratio once your close ratio is already happening. So if you're getting, say, a 20% close ratio with this pitch, once you've made 30 sales, you can probably increase your close ratio to 25, 30, 35 percent and maybe even more over time with this style of pitch. But start here until you're getting at least a 20 percent close ratio is the name of the game. So with this pitch, it's the simplest pitch to offer. Um, it's the best place to start with the least amount of talking. And here's how it sounds. We're looking to deliver this pitch in you know, a minute or less. And if you can whittle it down so that it's 30, 35, 40, 45 seconds, even better. So let's give it a whirl. Let's say we're talking to, um, let's say we're talking to a roofer or a plumber. Here, let's go with the plumber. So there are three main, and, and by the way, this would happen um, in the portion of the script where you say, all right, Mr. Plumber, you are a great fit for this. I would love to work with you. Do you want to hear about how this whole thing works? And they'll say, yes, I would. And then you say, okay, cool. So there are three main strategies. First, we're going to get a bunch of people in through the doors in the first few weeks using a strategy that we have for multiplying your current opportunities. And we're going to be able to do that three times per year. Now, for someone like you, you told me you have like 500 people in your contact list. We should be able to get you five, 10, maybe 15 new jobs right away. Second, and by the way, we'll be able to do that a couple times per year. Second, we're going to generate new leads for you in an ongoing basis and book those leads with appointments for you. That way, all you have to do is close the sales. And third, we're going to maximize your organic sales opportunities with a few new tools that a lot of people have been able to use to triple to 5x the sales that they get from their organic sources, like their website, their Facebook page, their Google Maps, all that kind of stuff. Now, we'll also take care of all of the follow-up for you on those sources. So all the sources I just mentioned, we're going to generate interest and book the appointments so that all you have to do is close sales and take care of customers. Now, what parts of that would you like to know more about? So notice, I got that in at, at a minute, right? That was almost exactly a minute. If you could refine a few words out from there and get it to the point where your presentation is closer to 40 seconds, 40, 45, that would be even better. So just take this as a basic template and, and begin filling your words in here and don't make it longer than this. This is the maximum length that it should be. Um, it, it, ideally, if I was doing this pitch, I would be working it down a little bit shorter than that. And I would be using, looking to use industry-specific terms to so make sure that you sound like an insider when you're presenting this. Option two, not as easy to do, but a bit more effective if you're good at it. Now, with this option two, your pitch is going to be doing more of the heavy lifting. With option one, you just present the basics. We're going to do three things. Reactivate your existing opportunities, generate new opportunities, and we're going to um, increase the conversion of your organic sites. Now, with all three of those things, we're going to book the appointments for you so that all you have to do is close sales. What of that do you want to know more about? Very short, very simple. You're giving the bare, bare, bare like the, the high-level overview of what you do in 30 seconds, 45 seconds. And their questions guide what portions you fill in more details on. Now, 
With option two, the reason why I say to do this after you've made 30 sales is when you do this, you should already know what portions that particular prospect is going to have more questions on. And you write it out for your average prospect. Um, but when you do this, there should be three or maybe four steps that most of the average prospects you speak to need help with. And then in, in real time, you're going to adapt that script to that specific person. So you might leave one of the steps off if you're going to be talking over their heads. Or you might put a little bit more emphasis into one of the steps. But the point is you should know what the average prospect's questions are because in this script, we're doing more of the heavy – or in this pitch – uh, we're, we're doing more. We're doing more of the heavy lifting with the the pitch itself by knowing what questions people are going to ask and addressing them before they ask them. So here's how it sounds. All right. Well, it looks like you're a great fit for this program. Do you want to hear more about how it works? And they'll say yes. And you're like, great. What we do is we help plumbers get more customers by bringing in new sales opportunities and booking those appointments for them so that they can get to the point where they have two or three trucks in the field and get out of the nuts and bolts of their business. And everything we do for each of our clients is specialized for their unique situation. And for your situation, it looks like you're about three steps away right now. So first, okay, let's pause right there. Um, you notice that I just filled in what I knew that person was interested in. This plumber told me he wanted to get to two or three trucks in the field and get out of the nuts and bolts of his business. That's what we're looking to do. We're looking to fill in what their goals are. And in your situation, you're about three steps away. So I'm going to give you an overview of these three steps. And at each one, I'll just pause and find out if you have any questions about that step before I go on to the next one. Sound good? And I'll be like, yeah, sounds good. Okay, first... We're going to use your existing assets like the list of prospects you talked about, you know, that the 500 or 600 people that you say you have in your list and those, you know, 150 or so former clients. We're going to use those existing assets to produce more leads and more appointments for you so that all you have to do is conduct the appointment. Now, what most marketing businesses do wrong is they just dive in and start with ad spend right away. But what we do in this program is we're going to get you a big boost of new customers, you know, 5, 10, 15 new customers right away in the first few weeks so that you can fund the investment in this program and it makes it easier to fund your ad spend. What questions do you have about that first step before I go on to the next one? Notice I didn't say, do you have any questions? I say, what questions do you have about that first step before we go on to the next one? Right? And they'll, they'll ask whatever questions they have. I clarify those types of things. They, and then I'm going to go on to the next step. Okay, great. So the second step is we're going to start your ad spend fairly early on to generate new leads for you and get those leads to book appointments as well. Now, what a lot of other people do out there is they just generate these new leads and hand them off to their customers. And that's why a lot of other plumbers think the Facebook ads don't work. The reason why is because you have to get in touch with these brand new leads in this golden window of the first five minutes. Now, nobody's just sitting around in their truck or on the job watching their phone or their laptop, you know, looking for a lead to come in. And that's why most people struggle with paid ads. So what we do differently is we're going to manage that follow up for you. And every new prospect starts getting followed up with within seconds of them expressing interest. We book the appointments for you, and then all you have to do is take care of those appointments. So what questions do you have about the paid ads portion of this system? They'll ask whatever questions they have. And then I'm going to say, okay, great. Third and finally, we know that whenever we start running ads for you, all of your organic sources are going to heat up. You're going to get more traffic to your Google Maps page. You're going to get more traffic to your Facebook business page. You're going to get more traffic to your website. So what we do is we install a few tools. You know, Rather than just leaving you to deal with the additional buzz and noise, we're going to install a few tools so that we can get your organic sources to convert at 3 to 5x the rate of what they used to, and we'll manage that follow-up for you as well. So you're old opportunities, the new leads that we're going to generate, and all the organic opportunities that are coming to all these pages, we're going to take care of booking those people 
with appointments for you so that the only thing you do is meet with customers and grow the business. And that's how we help plumbers get to the point where they go from the one man show to the place where they have three, four, five, six trucks out in the field and they're out of the nuts and bolts of the fulfillment of their product and all their time is spent on growing the business. So where do you want to go from here? When you say that, you know, you could say, what questions do you have about that last portion? They might ask a few more questions and they'll say, great, does that answer all your questions? They'll say, yeah, that answers all my questions. And they'll say, awesome, where do you want to go from here? And they'll ask, how much does it cost? And that's when you'll say, well, the way that it works is we charge $8,000 upfront to cover the first three months plus whatever you want to use in ad spend. We'll manage as much ad spend as you want. And after the first three months, it's all month to month at just $1,500 per month. Now, you're a great fit for this program. You know, we can work you in whenever you're ready to get started. But I have two openings right now that I'm hoping to fill this week. So if you want to get started with me on this call today, instead of the regular rate of 8K upfront for the first three months, I'll take two grand off. So if you want to get started with me on this call, it'll come down to just 6K. And then you shut up and wait and hear what they have to say. By the way, when I talk about paid ads, which I brought up here in the second point of this pitch, a lot of people will say, well, you know, what about ad spend? How much does that work? You know, how much do people spend on ads? The way that I answer that question is I say, well, look, we'll manage any amount of ad spend that you want. You know, our service fee covers making sure that your organic opportunities convert into booked appointments, waking up your old leads and running ads. And we'll do all that for you um, at no additional charge. So, you know, some of our customers will do ad spend like three to $5,000 a month to cover, you know, a pretty big radius as they start to grow their business and, and have trucks in the field that branch out to other states and whatnot. Um, some people will start as small as a, as small as $1,000 per month. You know, for you and your business with the radius that you have for the people you want to work with in just your city, I would recommend starting at $1,500 to maybe $2,000 a month in ad spend. Um, but, you know, if $1,500 a month in ad spend is too much and you have, you know, too many opportunities coming in, we can always dial it back from there. Does that sound good? And they're like, yeah, that sounds good. So typically, they already know that ad spend is up to them. Um, but the service fee stays the same. So the more they spend on ads, the more bang for their buck they're getting out of your effort. So that's generally what the pitch sounds like. Um, and you'll, you'll become very familiar with common questions. And we're looking to address many of, as many of their common questions as possible in our first, second, and third step with this option too. Not quite as easy to do, but it is a little bit more effective once you have practice at it. So if you've made less than 30 sales in this program, I would recommend starting here. Once you're beyond 30 sales, then I would break it down into this three or four step pitch where you check in with people after each of the steps. Notice the format is, all right, I'm going to go through the three steps for you in your business. And after each one, I'll see if you have any questions about that one before we go into the next. Sound good? They say, yes, it sounds good. Okay, first, what a lot of people do is this. And we don't do that because of X, Y, and Z, and people struggle with that, or, and people struggle with that because of X, Y, and Z. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to do it like this. That's how it would sound. All right, so I hope that that helps you with the idea of structuring your pitch. Go on to the next training here right away, and I'm going to give you a template for writing out the description of what you do and the price points and all of that so that you can get feedback from me and the other sales coaches in the program.